đây là thành phố Athens tức là thủ đô của đất nước Hy Lạp đây là những uh, di tích cổ lịch sử của <cười> kiến trúc thời đại La Mã những uh, di tích này hiện nay uh, UNESCO công nhận là di sản của uh, văn hóa thế giới đó. Ghê thường quá trời luôn ha Ở đây ở đảo mà Nhưng người ta cần có Tàu để người ta chở đi chơi chìm ở trong đó hồi xa xưa cái đá ở chỗ này là sao mà nó trắng nõn nè không 
khủng ngộ đó không biết cái loại đá gì đó nên họ theo cái hướng để họ sơn cái nhà màu trắng luôn đá sao nó trắng nõn nè tới đây là người ta thích lắm đó những cái bãi biển mà đã có những cái trắng mà cái nắp nó đỏ trồng ừ. nhát hết
có những cái gì kích cổ ở đây nữa đây là nó người cái, cái phong tục ở đây nó, nó tương phản với cái phong tục của người ý <cười> cái chợ truyền thống của người ta đó nó giống như là chợ Sài Gòn vậy. cái chợ như vậy đó nó thú vị hơn là xem ở trong mấy cái siêu thị nó không có hay cái này nó mới phản ảnh được cái cái tập quán của người ta mà cái con người sinh sống ở trong cái xã hội đó như là cái giá đó là một euro một ký một ký chuối hình như vậy đó ở bên Âu Châu là nó tính ký lô không chứ nó không có tính thao như ở Mỹ giờ nó xài tiền euro ở đây buôn bán giá cả để cũng rất là rõ ràng phải không ít chứ ở bên sài gòn thì đôi khi giá cả không có để lên trên đó họ nói miệng không mình bán mình dám để cái giá nằm ở trên đó nó mới là nó là xác thực hơn trung thực hơn chứ 
sợ người khác biết rồi người ta lợi người ta là là là, là, là hạ giá hay là, là gì đó Đấy không còn ở đây người ta bán đúng giá thị trường người ta không có sợ còn cái kiểu mà không để giá rồi rồi đụng coi mặt mà để mà hét giá đó thì cái đó là một cái lối mà buôn bán là không có trung thực cái này là một ký lô của khoai tây là một euro vậy cũng đâu có mắc lắm Đó là trái ô uh, liu đó Cái uh, cách mà người ta thu hoạch uh, trái ô liu hồi xưa đó
Athens, Greece, and today is going to be the ultimate day of Greek food in Athens. We're going to eat lots and lots of Greek food, and I'm going to show it all to you in this video. Bây giờ mời các bạn theo chân của anh Mạc Quang để trải nghiệm cái ẩm thực của Hy Lạp nhé. met up with Tassos. Hi guys. <laughs> and we are walking, uh, we walked up the hill and we are walking on our way to go to a coffee shop first thing this morning. This is a traditional coffee shop. It's really nice within the park. They have tables set up all over and we're gonna drink some traditional coffee. They grind the coffee very fine and then they pour the uh, coffee and then they grind so, uh, the coffee. Uh, so it's thick yeah. and dark and murky. You can see that coffee foam on top and we got a double. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that is the the fuel of life right there. And you can order it in different levels of sweetness. They even have specific names for the sweetness level that you want it. We got the no sugar, and that's the way I love it. You can taste the, the richness, the pureness of the coffee. Coffee was fantastic. We're on our way to go to a deli next. Bây giờ anh đi lên cái chỗ để anh ăn này. This is a, originally a family run deli and uh, Tassos knows the owner here but they have all sorts of deli products, all sorts of uh, gourmet Greek ingredients but they're really famous here for their feta cheese and their yogurt which we're going to have here. You can go shopping to buy little groceries uh, but at this Có bà xã ảnh với đứa con ảnh đi theo đó. This is the soft feta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the... Uh, Gravier. Gravier. Graviera. On the bread, there's a few, you know, some cheese. Okay. And then it's drizzled all in olive oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the, this is the soft cái uh, thực phẩm oh, của người like, like Hy Lạp. Yeah, yeah. It looks amazing. À, đôi khi nó cũng có tương tự giống như của người Ý. Too much? Or is that good? Tại vì cũng, okay. cái tập quán của họ cũng ăn sâu vào trong cái uh, tập quán của người Ý lâu rồi. Đây là phô mai, phô mai cứng. Ăn uh, với lại uh, bánh mì gạo lứt. Yeah, a sharper cheese. It's got one more cheese plate to share. Còn cái này. And this is a type of feta as well, but it's been fried. So cái này it's, là cái gì it's đây? coated in a little bit of flour and then fried. You can see that golden crust on the outside and then it's topped with some sauce and some parsley. Cái gì giống gà ủ à? Không biết nó lại gì luôn. That's incredible. Giống gà ủ non. Mm. It's just like, it almost has like a yogurt taste to it. Anh đây giống như dâu vậy đó, mà không biết nó là cái gì. Đây là 14 euro đó. Trời ơi, sao bắt gì vậy? Η κλασική είναι αφιερό. Έχει με φίλο και μετά με κρυκούρο. Αφιερό είναι κασερόπιτα. Μπορούμε να πάρουμε και μισή από την κλασική. Ωραία. Οπότε μισή κλασική, μ
Okay, next up we've stopped at, this is a legendary place in Athens for one of the most classic Greek street food or on-the-go snacks, and it is a cheese pie. They serve all sorts of different cheese pies, which are all in that glass cabinet all prepared, and they look fantastic. I love this place. There's, it's just a classic hole-in-the-wall style place, and they have, they, most people just take it to go and like eat it on the go, uh, but they have a little standing table here, which I love too, which is, it's actually just a board on a pillar to the building. This is fantastic dining right here. I think this one right here is the classic one, which is the, the cheese pie with phyllo. Cái chỗ này là nó bán bánh trần tâm oh, yeah, mang đi. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. And you can see on the inside, oh, you can just see how crusty and flaky that Không dough is. And then filled ngon. with like, it looks very crumbly, the cheese. Ở trong nó có phô mai, ở trong nó nó nướng. Ở ngoài giòn lên. Oh yeah. Oh, that's really flaky. And a little oily. And you, then you've got that salty, crumbly cheese on the inside. This is a caseri. This is a caseia. Caseri. Caseri. Yes. Sweet, uh, sweet cheese. Oh, okay. Sweet, uh, and this is a different type of dough also? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks more like a like a crust, yeah. like, a, like a pie crust almost yeah. dough. And this is a different shape as well. Oh, yeah. It's kind of hollow on the inside. But the cheese has coated the top. Oh. And, the of the dome of dough. and then it is, again, it's more like a more like a pie crust to me. It's buttery and kind of crumbly. Okay, so the third one is the same type of dough. That's the last one I just tried, but with the, the same type of cheese as the the other one. Còn cái này là cái gì đây? Cắn cái coi. That's the type of crust that it's so it's so flaky and so crusty. Uh, that cũng, when you take a bite uh, and like will stick to your lips. Trong, eh? They're all good. It kind of just depends on what mood you're in, which one you want to get. Vậy là ăn bốn đồng tám euro. Ồ, nó bán cũng mắc quá chưa đâu có rẻ gì đâu. Ở bên cái vùng Âu Châu này đi du lịch là tốn tiền dữ lắm. Không có rẻ. Here's something really interesting about Athens. Whenever you're building or doing construction, you have to have an archaeologist on site because when you start digging Athens, into the ground in Athens, you, there are so many Hilap. circumstances they'll come across ruins and you'll just be walking through the city and all of a sudden in the middle of nowhere there are some ancient <coughs> ruins right here. There's just so much of a, a depth of history in Greece and in Athens. It's really incredible. And now we're getting into the market area. Uh, so we're starting to, starting to see lots of stalls with all sorts of things. We made it to the meat alley. Oh, and immediately you can smell the aroma. Oh, I get, I, I, I'm getting a whiff of lamb. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, cái, uh, cái hẻm này nó bán thịt không ông? Huge of meat I see some pork, I see some beef and some lamb, and maybe some goat. Nó bán well. thịt cừu với thịt bò. The quality of this meat looks incredible, and I love how it's displayed in these refrigerated glass cabinets. They slice it up for you. Wow, this is where you come to, to buy a raw meat feast before going to cook it. And then of course seafood yeah, is also a cá. huge part of Greek food culture. And and so so this is the seafood section. Lots and lots of fish. There are some massive octopus. And as soon as we exit the the aroma of the fish from the fish market, we're entering into a spice section of the market. Oh, immediately I can smell the spices. Oh, look at all these nuts. Bây giờ đi vô cái chỗ đồ gia vị nha. Hello. Micah has, has so many friends. <laughs> Everybody just loves Micah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cái này là cherry. 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 Cái này là cherry.
two euros per kilo. I think that's a pretty good deal. Hello. Wow. Welcome to another meat paradise in Athens, and they have all sorts of different sausage-cured meats and cheeses. Uh, this is a cool like deli kind of spot, uh, but then they also have uh, I mean, a lot of people take away, but then they also have a few tables in the middle here. It's so much fun to eat in a deli because not only do you get to eat the food, but you have the atmosphere. You're surrounded by food at the same time. This is uh, pasturma. Pasturma. And this one, this one is their classic, right? Yeah, this one yeah, is their specialty, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is made from camel, from camel meat. Camel. Oh, cái đó thịt con lạc đà đó. Oh wow. Oh. Strong, yeah. It's amazing. Oh, that's so good. He cut it paper thin. It has a wonderful meatiness to it. And you can taste that. You can taste the chili flavor to it. And then it just it's it's actually very lean. But it melts in your mouth. Có cái này có cái gì đây? Oh. That's amazing as well. Cái gì mình nói gói bằng cái lá. Sour and garlicky. Cái này là chắc thịt bò. You can see that marbling of fat. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you can taste the pepper in there. You can taste the chilies. That one does have kind of a strong meaty taste to it. I think that's a one biter. <laughs> it's actually not that much because it's so thin. Oh. Oh, that is wonderful though too. The meat is so pure. But then you taste that crust and you can taste the spices in there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that tastes better than I thought it was going to taste. It's not just plain crunchy toast. It does. You can taste the olive oil in there. And you can taste the herbs in there. That was a very worthwhile meat stop. When you come here, you have to try that cured camel sausage. That was the winner for me. That, that is amazing. Oh, some more sausage. to a place now that's well known for their bukatsa and this is from the northern part of Greece and you can you can watch him there making it traditionally he takes a, a dough he, he round he he um, spreads out the dough he rolls out the dough and then it's amazing to watch him as he slaps that dough into a paper thin sheet it literally is like the size of a of a single bed sheet when he finishes that dough. And then he, you can order it with a, a number of different fillings. There's some sweet versions and some salty versions. We got a couple of different versions to try. He wraps up it, the, that dough up with the filling and then there's just multiple layers. And it is phyllo, phyllo dough? Phyllo, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the this phyllo dough, which is very thin. And this, and this is traditional phyllo. It's called ah. oriatico, from the village phyllo. Ah, okay. Well, we're gonna begin with the sweet one, which is filled yeah, with yeah, cream. Yeah. And conveniently, they have already poked it with these, um, these wooden forks and yeah, yeah, yeah. there's that's cream in there plus yeah, yeah. there's some I can smell some cinnamon maybe yeah, yeah. and then there's powdered sugar on top yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh that is good. The cream on the inside is not that sweet. The sweetness is coming from that, that sugar on the top there. Okay next up for the meat pie and you can see if you let me get a get a close-up look at this you can see the meat it's stuffed with meat maybe there's some other spices or onions in here as well. I love that. That's like juicy minced meat in there. You can taste all of the sweet onions in there. And then it's wrapped up in that dough, which is crispy and gooey and and just a textural wonderland in your mouth. Oh, that's delicious. And then this one is the spinach. And you can see, uh, this is a traditional type of type of field. You can see that the, the dough is a little different, yeah. Nó chiên cũng giòn. Oh yeah, they're all good, but my clear, the clear winner for me is the meat pie one. That's everything you want in a meat pie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tassos was telling me that it's very common uh, for restaurants to give you some free dessert when you finish eating. Bánh là ăn xong rồi nó cho bánh ăn. Oh, yeah, it is really. It's served cool, and it's juicy, like sugary, sweet, like liquid within the cake. It's very moist. 
it's nutty and chocolatey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other one is called the Ravani, and it's made Ravani. with Ravani. Yeah, it's made with lemon. Oh yeah, that one's pretty sweet for me. That was another great stop. The meat pie was my favorite. And this is a nice, nice place to sit. Nice patio area. We are now off to eat lunch. If you need a pot or pan of any size or shape or another vessel, this is the place to come. We are on our way to go eat what is one of the things that I'm most looking forward to eating in Greek in Greece. Uh, a Greek food, one of the one of the most famous of all Greek foods. This is what many locals consider to be one of the best places to eat souvlaki in all of Athens. It's a little hole in the wall, my kind of spot. Uh, they have some tables and benches, but really you can just kind of eat anywhere in this little public square and you can smell the grilling of the meat coming from this door. Oh, that smells incredible. <laughs> This is the type of food spot that just makes me absolutely thrilled and happy before I even start eating. You, as you wait there, you can see them cooking. He, he takes the skewer of meat, sticks it into the bread, and then he added a bunch of things. He, I love how he took a whole tomato and just like sliced it onto, onto the top of that, just rough cut. And uh, that's all so like slow sizzling and smoking all at the same time. And then he added on a handful of onions with herbs and spices. He added on some tomato sauce. And then the final step is that they put on uh, some, some fries on top and wrap it up into a handheld just beauty. Got two different types. Uh, one is the, the top one here is minced meat. Uh, so, oh, just look at that, beautiful. And then the <laughs> bottom one here is the classic pork. And pork yeah, is yeah, probably yeah. the most yeah. common? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's also the gyros. It's very common, but they don't have it here. It's like, uh, you know, especially for them. Okay, so I better, I better taste the original, the yeah, pork. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is what they're most known for. This yeah. is the pork this is uh, we can grilled hear pieces from. of meat. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. it's so hot and fresh. And you can see the herbs dusted on there as well. You can see that tomato sauce just kind of oozing everywhere, the parsley. The napkin and be careful so, that it, so doesn't it doesn't leak out the, yeah, the yeah, backside. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's a stunner. Oh, that tomato sauce with those onions and the meat is tender and smoky. You can taste the freshness of the parsley. That is an award-winning combination. Oh, that's insane. This is Greek pita and you can feel how fluffy it is. It's a, it's, and even it's a little gooey almost. And wow, it's nice and salty. Oh, just gonna look at all those glorious insides. Oh, that is amazing. The tomatoes in there are really like, are really like bright, and then the, the, the onions in Greece are they're really mild but juicy. That's something once you take your first bite, you're not gonna ever set it down again. Okay, and let me try the next one. This is all the same fillings, uh, except it's a different style of meat. And it's like, yeah, they're like little minced meat patties that he just like to put in there. You can see the, the minced meat of it and that same juicy, the tomato sauce is what is really, is really what stands out in those onions. Oh, oh, that meat has a really, really smoky taste to it. They just like smoked it out. Um, That's a reason to come to Greece, right there. Wow, that was unbelievably good. This is, a, when, you, when you're in Athens, this is a place that's gonna make you happy if you love to eat. So Ying and I are gonna go back to our apartment. We're gonna rest for a few hours uh, to wait out this hot sun. And then we're gonna meet back up with Tassos later tonight for uh, a Greek meat feast coming up soon.
good rest back at the apartment for about an hour and a half and I had a shower and now we're getting on our way. We're gonna take the subway uh, a little ways outside of Athens. It's close to the airport and that's where uh, Tassos lives and he's gonna take us to one of the one of a very locally popular Greek restaurant that specializes in grilled meat. <laughs> to Koropi Station. This is almost by the Athens airport and we're, we're really in the countryside here but there's nothing better than traveling for good food. <laughs> From the station, we drove over to a, a village which is called Kalivia. Yeah. And then this restaurant, this is a well-known meat restaurant, uh, and it's called Trigono. Trigono, yeah. Trigono. So you had, like you said, trigonometry? Yes. Trigonometry? Something ah, like that. That's what the word comes from. Yeah, exactly. Because of the triangle, because of the triangle road right here? I think a kilo okay. of chops. And then uh, a few other meat dishes. Okay, uh, I, uh, do, would you like a Greek salad? Sure. Okay, and uh, some tzatziki? Sure. Okay. First of all, I'm going to put a little This is actually a butchery. Check out their meat selection. All good meat restaurants start with good, fresh meat. And I'm sure this is some, like, just uh, some, some free-range grazed uh, lamb right here. It's beautiful meat. And then they just straight up chop it up on that huge, gigantic chopping board up there. And then they season it with salt. And then it goes on to that just, you know, it's literally a furnace of fire. In the, on the grill over there. It is just flaming hot, and they season it with salt. They see, I can smell some oregano roasting on the, on the grill as well. And this is, a, this is a meat paradise. That crew in the kitchen is so nice and friendly. You would, you would trust them with any piece of your meat. <laughs> I saw them make these lamb chops from start to finish. They, they literally took the half a lamb right out of the fridge, chopped them into pieces, salted them, put them onto that furnace of a fire. Um, I think he brushed it with some kind of sauce as well, and then with some oregano. And these are, you can literally just pick them up like drumsticks. Oh, look at that golden edge. Okay. Oh. Oh, that was a, a big bite. Oh, wow. It is so tender. That's why I got such a huge bite without even expecting it. Oh, it's like crispy and perfectly salted. You can taste that oregano in there. Oh, that's unbelievable. The fat on that lamb has caramelized. That is like some of the purest lamb you'll ever taste. It's like, oh, it just slides off the bone. Oh, oh wow. You can taste the grass, the, the how that, that lamb has has been grazing. One more lamb chop before I get started on that other meat. It's just incredibly tender. Oh, there you can see the, the insides of that meat. <laughs> the tenderness of that lamb. It is, it is just remarkable. Okay, on to, on to some more meat. Okay, I'm gonna try some of this sausage. To make you feel? Oh, it just smells incredible. You can smell chilies in there and you can smell the roasted aroma of it. Check out that composition. You can taste the chili flavor. You can taste some spice in there. And then it is, it has that just insane grilled roasted flavor to it. They take uh, both liver and lungs, wrap them up tightly into a roll. Not, not with a, a wrapper, but with, with intestines. And then they roast it over a, a rotisserie spit for a long period of time so their intestines caramelize and crunchify 
but leaving the organs juicy and, and just full of flavor. Oh yeah. If you love organs, it's amazing. It has a, it does have an organ taste. You do have to love organs. You can taste the slight irony. It has a bitter taste to it. You've got that crunchy layer, and then you've got that creamy like liver. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, you next one, next one, next one. Next one. Oh, it's on the yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, okay. So what what part of the lamb is this whole? Oh, 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 oh. The feet. That's the feet. Ah, okay. Oh, that just looks unbelievable. Oh, oh yes, it is. Oh, it's that creamy kind of lamb, that fattiness. It's so creamy. Oh, that is just insane. That is, that is like lamb dreams coming true. Oh wow. There's also some, some gelatinous bits within there as well that are, are fantastic. Some collagen and some ligaments. I'm not even sure, sure but wow, that's insane. You're supposed to break up all the cheese? Yes. Okay. Little pieces so that the oil comes on top. And now you can serve if you like. I want to just taste this. Thank you. Γιατί σήμερα πήγαμε να φάμε σουβλάκι στον Κώστα και αυτός δεν βάζει σαρτζίκι. Αλλά, I want another potato, on meat, on your finger. Oh, you can get it. Yeah. You can eat it with meat too. Yeah. Everything, right? I'm just loving the onions in Greece so far. They're so refreshing and so sweet. Oh, that's fantastic. It's sour, it's garlicky, and that tomato is so juicy. And this maybe it's a little marinated. Thank think, you so. very much. Next up, this is a giant, a giant pork steak that we got. Oh, that's so fatty and so juicy. That's the piece that just melts in your mouth. Finished with the meat feast. That was some absolutely incredible meat. And for dessert, they have served us Greek yogurt. I'm gonna try the one with honey first. And this is uh, Greek yogurt made with sheep, sheep, it's sheep Greek yogurt. Oh, look at that honey. Oh, oh, oh wow. Wow. Okay. That is a dessert I love. The yogurt is really sour and has an almost like zing on your tongue. And then the honey is sweet, of course, and thick, but so pure. Oh, that's the real, that is the real thing. Oh, that's, that is incredible. And that's, they're so complimentary because you've got the sweet honey with the, the sour, sour rich yogurt. What a, way to finish, what a way to finish this meal, and what a way to finish this entire day of incredible Greek food in Athens. We just made it back to the apartment after a very long day of incredible Greek food. All the food today was fantastic, and one thing that, no, along with the delicious food, one thing that really stood out is Micah made like probably 50 friends during the day. We would be walking anywhere and, and someone would would really, really like Micah and really love Micah and stop to talk to him and hang out with him. And that says a lot about Greek culture and the family aspect of Greek culture and how family is so, family and social life and, and how food is combined with that is so important in Greek culture. I wanna say a huge thank you to Tazos uh, for showing us around today. He's from Athens, he loves to eat, he's just an amazing guy, and he showed us some of the best food in Athens. I will leave all the information and all the places that we ate at and all the information in the description box below so you can check that out and you can do this food tour when you're in Athens as well or eat at some of these places. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Good night, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.
way to go meet uh, some friends Vivian and Diana and they're gonna take us to a couple of different restaurants for lunch today so some delicious Greek food coming up so yeah ta lại tiếp tục với anh mặc quen đi ăn we have decided to take the bus because the bus goes right exactly where we need to go for lunch today so we're waiting on bus number 550 The bus was fairly straightforward. I uh, just followed the map from Google Maps directions. The plan is we're going to go to two two back-to-back -back restaurants for lunch today. The first is a grilled meat restaurant, and the second is a seafood, a fish restaurant. Bữa nay anh sẽ đi ra hai cái nhà hàng. Excellent. What's the name of it? Adrino. Adrino. It's the name of a city. Very good in Greece. That's ready. That's how it's served. This is traditional food. Oh. Agrinio. Agrinio. Oh, yeah, thank you. And look. <coughs> wow. Agrinio City. Agrinio City. Agrinio City. And this is a village called Amula. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Wow. And my, my, the famous, their, my brother, my sister. It's a family, family. family yeah. business. This is ready. This is hot now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Greek lunch. Greek lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And is that oregano? It's natural. It's natural. Wow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we got a gigantic platter of meat coming to our table right now. Oh, oh this is a family-run meat restaurant, and there, it's so much fun. They fix everything. Wow. Wow. We got the mixed platter of meat. They take some cuts from all of those different rolls, chop them up into pieces, and you can see them just like dripping with and oozing with juices and then he piles them all all the all the different meats onto a, a piece of paper and then that's that's not all it's then topped with a with a bunch of french fries then sprinkled with salt and oregano and some greek lemons on it it's just all eaten family style you can just dig in with your fingers or with a fork and just grab meat and fries and bread and oh you can smell the oregano on there this is the the meat innards roll up there's liver and lungs on the inside and then it's wrapped with intestines and then slow roasts and this thing has a it has a little bit of an irony aroma to it and i love it it's one of, my, it's one of the, the greatest organ treasures you could eat I would love that when you do that. <laughs> we love it. Oh, it's just salted perfectly. It's not all that irony. It's really like clean, like organ tasting. It's fantastic. It's rich. It's definitely rich. Look at that chunk of meat. There's oregano on this one. And as I as I lifted up that forkful, it just completely it just completely stripped off. It's so tender. Wow. 
Yeah. It's so tender. Oh, do I have something in my hair? Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I'm not, I, I could not even use my teeth for that. I could chew with my gums with oh, that meat. What I like about the grilled meats in Greece is that they're salted kind of heavily, but it tastes really, really good. That's the village where you are from? Yes. Oh, okay. Kutamula, which means small river. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where the, that's where the recipes originate. Oh, and you can see that golden, golden crust. Oh, well, the chicken is extremely soft as well. That was a huge bite of chicken too. And the final meat to complete the quadro of meats on the paper tray is the fatty pork, which uh, they have mentioned is one of the one of the Greek favorites. Yeah. Oh, it's stunning. It has that crust of salt and herb on it, and it's so incredibly flavorful the way. Slow roasted. We got some tzatziki, which is Greek yogurt with cucumber, and uh, it is a dip. You can actually dip anything you want from the feast into the tzatziki, so a fry looks pretty good. Mm. You can taste the dill in there, and it's a little bit garlicky, and it's very, what I love about it is so cool and refreshing. The other, which is a, a dip of feta with peppers, hot peppers, and Let's try this. This will be my first time tasting this. Oh. It's like a, it tastes kind of like cottage cheese dip. It's really fragrant, really rich, and that's delicious as well. Wow. Yes, we finished with that meat feast. That was the definition of a, just a melt-in-your-mouth platter, a gigantic paper full of meat. It was amazing, just all things meaty and tender, all on a, on a single piece of paper with fries on top. That was incredible. Oh, it's sweet and kind of... It has like a mesquite. It has like a, like a, almost like a pine mastic tree. Ah, with a chunk of watermelon. Oh, it's so juicy. That's it. Thank you. Bye bye, my guy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Bye. Very good. <laughs> this is an amazing restaurant. The owners, it's family run. The owners are extremely friendly. The food is incredible. And uh, normally they were, they were saying that the restaurant will be packed, but now is the holidays in Greece. So that's why it's not too full. And also we ate kind of early, but the food, the, the meat, that is, that is, this is where you can come in Greece to have a Greek meat feast. Are you okay there in the back? Yes, very nice. Bây giờ ảnh đi đến một cái nhà hàng khác để ăn cá. Hello. The restaurant is called Moscos, and it's in a residential area. It's nice and quiet. They have tables set up all outside. This is already a fantastic restaurant. We're going to be eating underneath the lemon trees and the mandarin trees. Vivian and Diana are. Just ordering all the food. There's nothing better than having back to back feasts a meat feast and then a seafood feast. And once again, the table is just full of seafood. I just had a chance to go back in the kitchen where Auntie is, is grilling up the seafood and she's, she's grilling some of, the, some of the octopus right now, some of the octopus that we're eating on the table. And it's just gigantic octopus, all of those tentacles. She, she grills them for three hours and then slices it up for the dish we have on the table. She adds some olive oil and vinegar and oregano and salt, and that's it. And that it's that slow roast that gives it the flavor and that, that smokiness over that hot fire. That's incredible. <clears throat> Oh, that's amazing. 
you can taste a little bit of lemon juice. The, the oregano on there, it's nicely salted. You can taste the grill marks on it, and maybe just a little bit of olive oil on there. That is just simple, simple, perfect. And squeeze on some of that fresh lemon. Oh, oh it's so good because it's so fried so fresh. And that one you can eat the bones and all. It's soft all the way through. It's meaty. It's mm, next up for the calamari. And oh, they're just they're just big and beautiful. And the whole Còn plate is just, mực, it's just like exploding with calamari. Mực, uh, mực freshly nhỏ. deep fried. Oh, and it's so soft and tender that you can cut it with your fork. You don't need a knife to cut it. And then just add on a little bit. It looks like there's a very light breading to it to, before it's deep fried. Uh, maybe just a dust of flour. Wow. It's like, what I like about it is it's just lightly battered so that you get an extra crispiness, but not, it's not a heavy batter. Oh, wow. That's the card. Vaya insisted that we order it because she said they brought it to her fresh this morning and it's delicious. And the last dish that the, the owner just brought out is some fried cod. And normally I would think of cod as a big fish, but these are, are medium-sized fish, uh, quite quite small, perfect for eating. They're deep fried again. I love how they serve everything with a whole half a lemon on the side. Everything is fresh. And the owner recommended that we order the, the cod because it's fresh, very fresh right now. And so when the owner makes a recommendation, you, you take that recommendation and it looks fantastic. And immediately you can feel how soft and how flaky ah, that fish is. Oh, it just like, it just flakes out of the, flakes off the body. <laughs> I think I might give it a little tiny squeeze of lemon just to, to enhance it. Okay, perfect. Oh. oh yeah, that texture, that texture, it's so flaky and, and every single flake is moist and oh, <clears throat> it's kind of silky. It's a little bit, you can taste some of those fish oils in there. And again, it's just cooked perfectly. It's fried fresh. All you need is salt and lemon. And that's that's superb. Mm. It's flaky as well. And it has that same just light coating for to make it crunchy and deep fried. Tiro cafeteri. Tiro cafeteri. Tiro Which cafeteri. means hot cheese. Another thing that I'm loving here is called the, it's the Tiro Cafeterin. Is that correct? <laughs> and it literally translates to cheese hot. Um, and it is. It's like a dip that you can actually dip anything in. You can dip your seafood in, you can dip vegetables, you can dip bread into it, whatever you want. I'm especially loving the zucchini. Oh, yeah. It's just this amazing creamy cheese flavor. But at the same time, like in your aftertaste, you get a little bit of a chili heat, just very slight. We finished with the seafood feast. It was absolutely incredible. The owner has brought us out a plate of fresh melon. I love how in Greece they give you a, a complimentary, just a fruit dessert. Oh, that melon, it's so juicy, almost with that slight honey taste to it, and it just gushes with juice. So those are back-to-back -back outstanding meals. And not only is the food good here, but I love how they just, it, even though we're somewhere, well, I'm not totally sure where we are, but we're somewhere in the middle of Athens. It almost feels, it's so quiet in this area that it almost feels like we're on a, on a Greek island here. We just drove over to the center of Athens near to Sintagma Square, and we're going to go to a place where uh, Diana and Vivian say is the best ice cream in Athens. Diana đi tới cái chỗ mà ăn kem. Oh, kem hả? Okay, we got a bunch of different ice creams, and we're sitting in the car now. This one is with figs, right? This one is the figs. Figs. Fresh. Masca. Mascarpone cheese. Oh, that's the cheese. <laughs> Mm. Wow, that is really good. It's really rich and creamy, and you can taste just those. You can taste the real pieces of figs in there as well. Pistachio. Mm -hmm. Pistachio. Oh my god. 
Pistachio is amazing. Really nice and strong pistachio. And then lemon. Oh, you can see little pieces of real lemon or lime peel. Mmm. Oh, the lemon's amazing. Mmm. A really strong flavor. Really refreshing. We just got dropped off by Vivian and Diana. And by the way, they have a design company called Two Is Company. And they watch our videos. They're really amazing. They love to eat. They're really amazing people. And I want to say a big thank you to both of them for taking us around and for showing us a couple of outstanding restaurants in Athens. To complete the afternoon today, I have decided to take a walk over to the Roman Agora. I could use some exercise this afternoon. So I'm going to. I'm walking over there now. Meeting place, it's one of the central places of the ancient city. And unfortunately, I actually got here too late. They're closed already this evening. But that's okay because you can almost see the entire, uh, luckily the, the gate is very low. You can actually see almost the entire Agora. Most of it is in ruins and there are columns and, and like, but you can walk around the gate actually and get a really good view of almost everything. And also you can see the, the Acropolis up on the rock um, formation, rock mountain above it. And one more sight to see over here is Hadrian's Library. Adrian's library, again, it's closed, but actually you can get a pretty a fantastic view of the entire complex and all the ruins uh, right from the gate. I love to admire how they were able to construct the, the cross posts, the lintels across the columns. It's really a, an architectural and construction feat when you think about how old the, the ruins are. To finish off the day, I am walking around Monas Tiraki, which is known for being a flea market area. There are all sorts of shops within these lanes. It's a nice square as well to, uh, to just walk through. So I'm going to end the video though for today right now. It's been a, another fantastic day in Athens. I want to say a huge thank you to Vivian and Diana for taking Ying and I out to eat at some local uh, Athens Greek food restaurants. Both restaurants, both the meat feast and the seafood feast today were fantastic. Hello. And uh, it was a lot of fun to hang out with them. So I want to say a big thank you to them. And thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Athens. I'll see you on the next video.